Hi guys, welcome to day two of Kids for Code. My name is Zoe and I'm going to be your teacher for today. So today we're going to be going through a brackets tutorial and we're going to learn about some basic page structure for your first HTML web page. So before we get started, we're going to go over the answers of the summary questions that Connie left you off with. So the first question, what are coding languages? If you said something along the lines of a set of instructions the computer uses to follow certain commands that you give it, then you are correct. The coding languages are what we use to communicate with the computer so that um, they can perform and execute the different commands that we give them. Number two, what are HTML and CSS? HTML and CSS are two common programming languages that we use when building and designing a website. This leads us to number three, what is HTML used for and what is CSS used for? HTML is used as the basic building blocks of the website and CSS is used to style the website and make it look nice. So think back to the example of the house. HTML are the building blocks that we use to build the house and CSS is what we use to make sure that the house looks nice. We can add color to it, change the way it looks, and everything can be styled using CSS. And finally, number four, what do tags do? Tags are the directions for the computer to follow in order to execute the different commands you give it. There are many different tags that we use and we're going to learn about some of them now. First, we are going to go over brackets. Brackets is another text editor tool that you can use. And although Notepad and TextEdit will work fine, brackets makes coding a lot easier and a lot more fun. Plus, it's completely free for download. So we are going to go through a quick little tutorial on how to download brackets. So first, I'm going to go to Google and type brackets. And then I'm going to click on the first option that pops up. Next, I'm going to click on Download Brackets. You can see it downloading right here in the bottom left. So once it's done downloading, I'm going to right click and click Show in Folder. And here we can see brackets in our folder. So if we right click this and click Open with Brackets, And an error might pop up, but it's okay. Just press okay. And good job, you've downloaded brackets. So this is just a short project I was working on before, but once you download it, you might get something that looks like this. And this is just a short little thing that everyone gets when they first download brackets. It just explains to you what brackets is used for and the different things you can do in brackets. So here is my project right now. Once you create a project or a file in brackets, you're going to want to save it. So mine, I'm going to, for mine, I'm going to press file, save as, and then you're going to want to give it a name. So mine is going to be called example, and this is important when you're naming it. Make sure that you put dot html at the end so that it recognizes it as an HTML file. And another thing you can do is you can save it in a folder. So I'm saving it in a folder called HTML. Press save. And since it already exists and I'm going to replace it, press yes. And there you go, I have just saved my file. Another cool thing you can do in brackets is if you click on the top right, this little lightning bolt, this is called the live preview. So if you click on it, then you can live preview your website in the browser. So this website is the result of this code that I typed in. So now we're going to go through some basic page structure. First, we have document type. Now document type is this first tag right here. Document type is what we call an empty tag, which means there is no closing tag. And what I mean by that is here, for example, this is an opening tag and this is a closing tag. It surrounds the content. However, for document type, there's only one of it and it's at the very top. You don't see another document type closing tag at the bottom. You only need one of it. 
The document type tag tells the browser what type of document the web page is. So in this example, this is an HTML page. Next, we have our HTML tags. Every HTML document begins and ends with this HTML tag after the document type. This is the opening tag, and this is the closing tag. It surrounds the entire content on the page. Next, after HTML tag, we have our head tags. The head tags contains the title of the document along with other information about the file. So here we have the title and we have two style tags. And it's all inside this opening head tag and this closing head tag. Next, we have our title tags. So the title tags look like this. Your title is in between the two tags. Make sure you have an opening title tag and a closing title tag. In this case, the title of our web page is called the title. In the example of my web page, my title is right here. Notice it is within the head. And my title of my website is called Zoe's website. So once you go to my live preview of my website, you can see it right here, Zoe's website. Next, we have our body tags. The body tags have the main content of your page in it. So all of your text, your images, your links, all of it go inside your body tags. So in my example, my body tags are right here. Inside my body tags, I have this header that says all about Zoe, a few sentences explaining who I am, and then I have a list right here. They are all inside my body tags. Next, we have our two style tags. So this is where you style different elements of your page. Here, you can change the color, the size of your font, what your font is. And in my example, my style tags are right here. They're right after my title. And here, I can control the background color. I made it this color and I can control the heading. I aligned it in the center and I control the color. I can control the paragraphs, what color I made it. So as you can see, you can control a lot of things in the style tag. Now we're going to go through some other simple tags that you can incorporate into your page. First is the P tag. P defines a paragraph. In this example, we have the sentence, this is some text in a paragraph and it's surrounded by this P tag and this P tag. So this is what it will look like in the browser. Make sure you have an opening and a closing tag to make sure it displays correctly. Next, we have our H1 through H6 tags. These are our headings. H1 is the most important heading and H6 is the least important. So if you have a very big notice or announcement that you would like to put, make sure you surround it with an H1 tag. As you can see, the H1 tag makes the, this text the biggest, and this is the smallest. And as you go down the line, you can see your text is getting smaller and smaller. Next, we have our break. Break inserts a single line break. So here we have a sentence. Sentence, this text contains a line break. However, after contains, we have a BR tag. So what this looks like in the browser, is that a line break is on a new line because of this tag. Next, we have our HR tag. This creates a horizontal rule, which is just a line, and it separates um, different content on your page. So here we have HTML. HTML is a language for describing web pages. And then we have the HR rule. And as you can see, this creates the line right here because of the HR. Now HR and the BR tags are both tags that don't need closing tags. So all you need is just to type this in and you don't need to surround anything with it. It is an empty tag. Next we have our B tag. B is short for bold and what it does is it makes your text look bold. So here we have two B tags surrounding the word red and surrounding the word blue. Notice that there's an opening and a closing tag here opening and a closing tag here. So what that does is it makes the word red blue and it makes the word 
it makes the word red bold, sorry, and it makes the word blue bold. It was a red house with a blue door. So you can use the B tags to emphasize certain words in your sentence. All right, that is going to be the end. And now we're going to have some new summary questions. So all of the answers to these summary questions can be found throughout the video. So if you follow along, then you'll be, then you'll be able to answer all of these questions. First, what is the tag that you must have at the very top of your code? What does an empty tag mean? What is the difference between an H1 and an H6 tag? And four, what is the tag that you would use to create a line break? Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And if you would like some more information, you can go to our website, Kids for Code. Thank you.